guys. I'm really, really excited to show you guys this microscope. So I get a lot of questions from you guys about like what kind of microscope I would recommend for in-house use. And honestly, I don't really know because I don't use those microscopes um, because I, you know, I have a, a microscope for my use that's much, much more expensive than um, an in-clinic microscope would be. So it's hard because I can't answer that question. So I really wanted to be able to do that for y'all and I wanted to demo some just before I made any recommendations, obviously, because I need to use them before I recommend them. Um, and so I'd heard a little bit about the LW I4 Infinity microscope and thought that it sounded like a nice scope. So I reached out to them and I said, hey, can you send me one of your microscopes to demo? And they were really great and did. So they sent me a microscope, um, the I4 Infinity, and I've had a chance to give it a spin and use it and see if it's something I would recommend. And to be honest with you guys, this is a really, really nice microscope. Like I really, really like it. I'm really, really impressed with it. It's, it's really, I mean, dare I say, uh, comparable to, um, you know, to my microscope. I mean, it's not it, like my microscope is like the Mercedes of microscopes, but this is really, really nice. Like it, it, I would definitely use this microscope, um, myself, certainly in a clinic setting, but you know, I would, I'm kind of tempted to buy this for my house, um, to use, but anyway, I really like it. So I am going to tell you guys what I like about it so that you can make a good decision for yourself in clinic. But it is certainly one I would recommend. So the first thing is, is that when I got this, um, it came in a couple of piece like parts and I was thinking, Oh, you know, I'm, I don't really know about putting it together. It was so simple to put together. Like I am super reluctant to put, I, I don't like like piecing things together. I don't know. It's just not something that I enjoy doing. Um, mechanical stuff. It was so simple. Uh, it took me like less than 10 minutes to put together. But if you do buy this, um, depending on how you purchase these types of microscopes or this microscope, you can have a, a Jorgensen representative come out and set it all up for you, which is really cool too. So you don't even have to put it together. But if you do, then it's really simple. So a couple things off the bat that were really nice is that it's really um, good looking. <laughs> it's just a really like sexy microscope. Um, if microscopes can be sexy, uh, it's, uh, I mean, there's some really ugly microscopes, like let's just be real. Um, but this one's really nice looking. So just really pleasant to, to be around, um, says the pathology nerd, but anywho, so, uh, it, it feels really substantial. So it's like a nice solid microscope. It's not really, really heavy, but it's not like cheap. You know, some of those microscopes are just kind of flimsy and cheap and junky and it's not at all. Like it feels like a good, nice microscope. Um, I also like that it's got a nice slim profile, so it's not going to take up a ton of your counter space, um, which is usually, uh, you know, you know, counter space is like prime real estate in the vet clinic. So I really like that. And ergonomically, it feels good to use. So it's just not hard to um, like hard on your wrists and it, it just it has a nice like flow to it. It just isn't like awkward or clunky. And you can also adjust the oculars to your different eye widths that people in your clinic will have. Um, the stage is really smooth. So when I'm moving the stage around, it's not like, you know, um, jittering or like hiccuping, whatever word, you know, it's not uh, getting caught. It's really nice and smooth when I'm moving the stage around. Um, and then the oculars are really wide, which is cool because sometimes in those cheaper microscopes, they're just like these little tiny oculars and you're like little pin, pin holes. And um, these are nice and wide. And they have these rubber eye guards, which is just nice for comfort and cleanliness. Uh, so really, really um, feels good to use. So right off the bat, I noticed that. And then, of course, the most important thing when we're talking about microscopes is what does it look like? You know, what does the image look like? And this is where I'm really, really impressed with this microscope, too, is that it just looks really good. Like the image quality is really great really nice and crisp, clear image um, on all the objectives. So this particular microscope comes with four objectives and it comes with the 4X, the 10X, the 40X, those are all dry, and then the 100X oil. And the, it just looks so good on all of them, honestly. 
One thing that you may notice in some of your less expensive microscopes is that you get this ring of blurriness um, where it's out of focus around the outside. And that can be, to be honest with you, I think that can be really annoying, just depending on how much there is. Um, you, you know, if there's a lot of blurriness there, then it can be hard to really interpret anything because all you're seeing is this clear space right in the middle. But um, in, in this microscope, there's just this very subtle ring of, of um, out of focusness around the outside, but it's not enough at all, in my opinion, to affect your interpretation of what you're seeing or to be distracting, um, which I think is really nice because again, I don't know, it can just be, if you're not doing a ton of microscopy in clinic and you, or you're getting a cheaper scope, um, then you can put up with that. But if you're doing any amount with any regularity, I personally would prefer a microscope that doesn't have a, a big width of that blurriness around the outside or that out of focus look. So that's a big, nice perk to this microscope in particular, in my opinion. And then another thing is that this microscope has um, a good field of view. So basically when I'm looking at the slide, I can see a good amount of field. So um, I'm not getting like this real small image. I'm getting like a nice wider image. Um, and that's, you know, as opposed to, again, the less expensive microscopes, you might get, you might be getting less of your image, you know, like you're looking through and you're just seeing less than in a microscope like this where you're just seeing a bit more. And that um, may not seem like a big deal, but it's, it's nice. You want to be able to see, I mean, you're looking at a sample, you want to see as much of it like on that field um, at a time as you can. Um, also, I took a few notes, just to make sure I didn't forget anything. So let me just make sure. Um, yeah, so, oh, um, and I wanted to tell you about this objective. So this is the 50X oil objective. And this is a treat to have. Not everybody will want it or need it. Um, but if you do a lot of microscopy in house, it's one to consider. It's not a cheap objective. Okay, let's just be real, it's not. Um, but it's really, really nice. I love having um, a 50X objective, uh, oil objective, because it's just something between 40 and 100 that's an oil objective. And you, you know, with oil, you get a nice, crisp, clear image. Um, not that you don't with the 40, but it's, it's closer, obviously, than the 40 is, and not as close as the 100. So even though the 100 oil is nice and crisp, you're really close like to what you're looking at. With cytology, we really want to be able to make out cell patterns and how they're interacting with each other. And sometimes when you're just straight up on 100X, it can be really hard to like get a feel for that pattern. So being able to back out to 50 and have that oil clarity is really nice. So again, it's not going to be for everybody. Not everybody's going to want this objective, but I just wanted to mention it in case you're in the camp that would like this or you know wants to ask for it for Christmas or you know whatever holiday you celebrate um, then it's a, a nice objective to have as just kind of like a special treat. Um, this particular microscope is the trinocular model so that means it has this trinocular tube coming off the top and they do have the binocular model as well where it doesn't have this tube coming off the top and you know, what's the difference? So the trinocular, you would have that because it allows you to mount the camera to the top of the microscope. And I'm gonna talk about the camera in a second, but it's nice because you can just leave the camera up there. So you don't have to like take it on and off, it just stays there. Versus the binocular, where you don't have the ability to mount the camera. Now, if you have the binocular, you can get this adapter, which just goes right into your ocular. And then you put the camera on that adapter and you can take pictures that way. So it just depends on what you're interested in. If you take images in clinic with any frequency, I would honestly strongly recommend the trinocular to have this mounted camera on there because it can be kind of annoying to have to take that adapter on and off and you're risking like dropping something or breaking something um, every time you want to take a picture. So it's just really, to me, it wouldn't be worth saving a couple hundred dollars to go with the binocular um, and the adapter, you know, to have to do that. Um, and, and taking pictures, you know, we, we're all taking a lot more pictures, especially digital images of cytology and whatnot. 
And so I would, I would definitely, even if you don't, even if you're not taking a lot of pictures right now, you might, you know, and then having that ability to have that mounted camera is really nice. Um, and also it's really great to be able to show clients what you're seeing on the microscope. So like if they don't believe you that the animal has ear mites or whatever, <laughs> um, you can show them and I hear their reactions are really fun. But uh, yeah, so this is a really nice a bit, um, feature to have that trinocular tube to have the mounted camera. So speaking of the camera, this is one of the coolest things about this whole setup, in my opinion. I love this camera. Um, again, I'm really, really impressed with the quality of it. It's really, really cool. Um, I have a really nice camera on my microscope and I don't have an ability to connect it to an app on my phone. Um, so that's one of the things that's really neat about this is that first of all, when I got it out, I was like, Ugh, technology, like this is going to be a pain. I just always assume it's going to be horrible to set these types of things up. It was so easy. Again, like it was really easy, not at all difficult like I anticipated it to be. So I mounted the camera to the top. It literally just sits on here. I just plunked it on there. And then you scan, like you download the app on your phone or iPad or whatever. You scan this little barcode on the top and then it connects to your phone. And then you literally can see, let me show you guys, you can literally see the image, this is where we are, yeah, on your app. And you can move around all over the slide. And like, look how great that image looks. Like that is such a clear image with like, it's not blurry at all. It just looks really, really good. And then I find a spot that I want to take a picture of, for example, and I press this little camera and it just took a picture. Then I go to my files, go to photo, because you can also take videos and click and it's right there in my little image library. And you can actually like annotate these photos and put like labels and arrows and writing. Like it's really, really user friendly. And you can like, you know, email them to yourself. Um, so it's just, it's really, it's cool. Uh, it's really cool. So this is the mini vid camera. And again, with the ability to connect to your app. So just a few more things that you might be interested in to know that they were telling me um, that I think are great is that there's a lifetime warranty for um, parts and optics, uh, mechanics and optics on this microscope, which is, um, they were explaining like that covers the vast majority of things that would ever go wrong with it. So that's cool. They'll cover all that. Um, and then when you purchase, you can, like I mentioned earlier, you can have the Jorgensen rep come out, set everything up for you, make sure you don't have any questions. If you want to get a demo before you buy, just to be able to test run it yourself, you can contact your Jorgensen rep and they'll come out and demo it with you um, so that you can see if it's something that you would like. But honestly, I think that covers everything I wanted to mention to you guys, but I really, really like the scope. Um, I would not recommend a scope to you guys if I truly didn't think it was a good quality scope. Um, it's something that you're going to have in your practice for 20 plus years. And you know, it's, it's something that you want to invest a little bit of money into, in my opinion. But at the same time, it's really affordable for a lot of clinics. It's not an exorbitantly expensive scope. Um, and for the quality, I, honestly, again, I'm really impressed for the quality. Um, when compared to the price, it's like really, really uh, affordable and high quality scope that's going to last for a really long time. Um, but if you guys have any questions about this, definitely reach out to me. Like I, I, you know, I've, I've used it. I mean, I'm not the expert on this scope, obviously, but, um, I have my opinions and I think it's really great. So if any questions reach out to me, but otherwise I hope this helped a little bit and getting a, a recommendation from me since I've used it. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions.